Alright guys, I just filmed a very failed makeup tutorial, um, and so if my makeup looks like shit, that is why. Also, I am sick. Also, I put my glasses back on because, number one, I'm sick and my eyes are bloodshot and gross and red and don't look pretty. And number two, I figured if I put my glasses back on, it might cover up the awful makeup that is on my face now. So, let's get into this. <laughs> Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, I am sick, but I needed to film videos, so that's what I'm doing today. So if I sound like a man, that is why. I also have cotton in this ear, so if you see that peeking out, then that's what that is. I'm trying to cover it with my hair, but I can't hear out of this ear, so I figured I'd put cotton in it to try and draw out some of the moisture some of the the fluid that's behind my ear so that's what I'm doing if you guys were wondering that is why I haven't been filming videos because I've been sick and my eyes are watering even now but um, I've been sick and not really up to filming I just finally got a voice back today a little bit and I still sound like a man but yes so Anyways, enough about me. Let's jump right into this video. This is a Music Monday video that probably will not go up on Monday. I don't know when it'll go up yet. We'll see. But the first thing I do want to mention in this video is the fact that Cat Perkins is doing a Kickstarter right now to do a Christmas album. And again, you guys know that I have shouted them out in some of my videos before one of my friends does a lot of her graphic design stuff for her so if you guys want to go donate to this kickstarter because i'm actually really excited about a christmas album and the um, album cover and all that stuff looks really really awesome taryn did a really good job so if you guys want to go check it out and donate um there's only a couple days left and if i upload this on monday there's only going to be like two days left so you guys need to go donate now they're so close to their goal and hopefully they will reach it as of right now they have six days left as of right now the campaign is still open so if you guys want to go donate and do it fast because the campaign will close soon then i will leave links all down in the description for you guys to go do that and i'm really excited about this now moving on to more of my music favorites right now i have a list that i made and i'm going to just jump right into it some of these are older songs not older they're still popular but they came out a while back since i've been sick and having this ear problem i haven't been listening to a whole lot of music but anyways the first song i have on my list is make me by britney spears and I don't know why I haven't included this in a favorites in a Music Monday video before, but this video has been out for <coughs> well then. See, that's that's where the eyes get watering again. But I don't know why I haven't included this video in a Music Monday yet, because I've been listening to it for a long time and it's a really fun song, fun to dance to. And yeah. The next song I want to talk about is a really, really fun kind of empowering song that I've been listening to nonstop. So I discovered this song because I was on the Late Late Show's um, YouTube page. Ingrid Michaelson actually performed it on the show and it was on their Facebook page and so I clicked on it and I started listening to it and instantly I started jamming out to it. And it is her new song called Hell No and it's such a fun song. I don't know why. It's like such a... It's like a breakup song, but like an empowering breakup song. And she's kind of singing like to her now ex-boyfriend or to the person she's breaking up with about, um, you know, am I going to miss you? Hell no. And it's just a, such a fun song, such a fun beat, so fun to dance and to sing along with. It's just like such a fun song. If you guys haven't um, checked it out yet you really need to it's such a fun song and I'm so in love with it so the next song is actually a remix that I've been obsessed with I was obsessed with the original version but now they kind of brought it back with a, a twist like a like a little bit of a remix I don't know what you would consider it but it is the new uh where is the love song by the black eyed peas oh my gosh guys this song is freaking amazing it's got so many celebrities in the videos so many other like usher i think raps in it a little bit 
um, just so many other people have gotten involved with this movement, and now they're calling it hashtag where is love, and I've been obsessed with this song since it first came out in like 2000, it came out like years and years ago, like a long time ago, and I was obsessed with it back then, I've posted the old version of it on my Facebook so many times in recent history, because of all the events that have happened around the world, I often think of that song and I think of Where Is The Love um, with all the the shootings and all the, the bad things that have happened in this world. I, I posted it on my Facebook last year when the Paris attacks happened. I've posted it on there several times when like shootings and stuff have happened in the United States or wherever in the world. And now they brought it back and they kind of updated it, changed the lyrics slightly so that um, it fits a little bit more, which the lyrics, the original lyrics were perfect for it anyways, but they kind of tweaked them just a little bit. And it's such a good song, such a good video, such a good, like, movement in general. It's such a good, like, if you guys haven't listened to this, you really, really need to. Um, it's such, it's like so good and... I really love it. It's in black and white. It's just such a powerful, powerful song, and it always has been, but now it's even even better, and they got more celebrities in it. Uh, I think Kylie Jenner or Kendall Jenner, one of them's in it. Um, just all these famous celebrities that people love and love to watch, and so it's such a good song, such a good video, and such a good movement overall, and I just love it. So the next one, I think, is not very much of a surprise to really anybody but Lady Gaga's new song uh first of all where has Lady Gaga been I mean I've been following her a little bit but she finally came out with a new song and it's pretty good um I saw a couple youtubers criticizing the video because it's not really like it doesn't really have a symbolic meaning to um to to the song I think Lady Gaga has a different way of going about um, how she makes her music videos, and um, I just think that the music video did fit in a in a weird kind of way. Um, but besides that, I I do really like the song, and I like that she's kind of jamming out to it in her song. And then she's like, they have like really cool shots in the music video where she's like by herself one minute and then the next she's in like a crowd of people and I think that's really cool. I think the song is really really awesome. Uh, obviously it's it's Lady Gaga and just when you thought Lady Gaga was down and out she comes back with an amazing song and an amazing video and she's just awesome all around and I love her and I'm excited to see what her new album consists of. So the next one is something that everybody uh, on my Facebook at least has been talking about I don't know how viral it went but it was all over my Facebook and this is the forever country video and let me tell you guys I was so fucking excited about this I tried to contain my excitement about this in without posting on social media about it but I did end up posting on Facebook about it because I was so freaking excited I it's such a good video like it's got so many different people in it, so many different amazing artists and songwriters and from all generations, and it's such a good song. And they're singing my state's, like, anthem, like, not official anthem, but it should be their official anthem. They're singing Country Roads, and then they kind of bring some other songs into it, too, but it made me so freaking happy. Brad Paisley started it off, who is a West Virginia boy himself from Glendale, and... It's just so good. Also, Casey Musgraves made it in to the Forever Country video, and I'm so freaking happy. Like, two years ago, nobody even knew who Casey was, and now she made it in this awesome video. And it's just so, so exciting, and I'm so happy for her and everybody else in the video. And I love how, at the end, they kind of gave it away to the quote-unquote um, Queen of Country, who is Dolly Parton. My queen of country is definitely Loretta, but um, Dolly is a close second. They they did such a good job with that video, and I'm so, so proud about it. And I really think you guys should all go check it out if you haven't. I will leave links down below, like I do every week, but I'm so excited about it, guys. It's such a good video, such a good mashup of songs, and such a good 
mixture of country music artists from new to old to just everything. It's such a good overall video that you guys should go check out. So yeah. And the last one before my camera dies is Recovering by Celine Dion. This is a perfect song to have come out with after I got out of recovery, out of treatment. And it's such a good song and I feel like everybody can relate to it. Even if you didn't go to treatment for something, you can still relate to this song. Like everybody is recovering from something. Everybody has had something happen in their life that has changed them to a point and sometimes for the good and sometimes for the bad and this song just talks about how we're all kind of recovering and it's such a good song and I watched her sing it on some reality show I don't remember what it was but it was so freaking good Celine Dion just has this like angelic voice that you can't shake at all and she just literally sounds like like she sings so effortlessly like she looks like she just opens her mouth and it just comes out like like it doesn't take her any effort at all to sing the way she does and that first of all blows my mind and secondly this is such a good song such perfect timing for this song to come out and I've been listening to it a lot as I've been going through the motions of after treatment kind of follow-up stuff so such a good song and you guys should go check it out as well I I know it breaks your heart Move to the city and I broke down curtains Boy, it's no call Now I'm looking pretty in a hotel bar And I, I, I can't stop That is it for this video, guys. This was a short Music Monday because I am sick. And hopefully next week will be a longer one and also more videos will be coming back like i said in the beginning of this video i just filmed a video that was a makeup tutorial and it failed horribly so i don't know if i'll be putting it up or not but if i do that video will be going up and also more videos will be going up soon i have so many plans for october november and december for all the holiday months and i have so many plans for this channel and fun things that i'm going to do so those will be coming out too also if you guys haven't already at the beginning of this video i talked about the kickstarter that kat perkins is doing for her holiday album so if you guys haven't please please go and donate because we all want a Cat Perkins holiday album, like, who doesn't? Also, Casey Musgraves is coming out with a holiday album that I'm excited for, but that's a different story. Anyways, guys, go donate to Cat Perkins Kickstarter. I will link it down below. And also, go check out all my links while you're at it. All my social media is linked down below. I think I said that funny. I can't hear. But, um, go check me out. Go check out all the music that I just talked about that will be left down below as well and go donate to Kat's Kickstarter because there's only a couple days left and we need to hit this goal. Anyways guys that is it for this video. I will see you guys on my next one and hopefully I'll be able to hear in the next one. Alright bye guys.